international finance finance is the money available to spend on business needs need for finance is felt at each and every stage of business right from the moment someone thinks of a business idea till it becomes a reality finance is needed as the business expands need for finance also grows be it the expansion of the existing business or day-to-day -day running of a business need for finance is sine qua non the main reasons a business needs finance are to start a business finance expansions to production capacity develop and market new products enter new markets take over or acquisition moving to new premises pay for the day-to-day -day running of business a business can raise funds from various sources each source has unique characteristics which must be properly understood so that the best available source of raising funds can be identified With the opening up of the economy and business operations becoming global, Indian companies have access to funds in the global capital market. Let us now understand the term international finance in detail. International finance is the examination of institutions, practices and analysis of cash flows that move from one country to another. There are different sources of international finance. Commercial banks, international agencies and development banks, international capital markets. Commercial bank. A commercial bank is an institution which accepts deposits, makes business loans and offers related services. They are primarily concerned with receiving deposits and lending to businesses. International agencies and development banks International agencies and development banks invest directly in companies and guarantee loans to private investors. These are mainly set up with the motive to finance private sector projects and companies located in the developing world. To mobilize financing to help private companies in the developing world enter the international financial markets. To promote the development of the underdeveloped and developing countries by providing long and medium term loans. International capital markets use some salient financial instruments to solve the capital requirements of companies. Global Depository Receipt or GDR, a negotiable bank certificate issued in more than one country for shares in a foreign company. These shares are held by a foreign branch of an international bank. American Depository Receipt or ADR A negotiable certificate issued by a US bank representing a specified number of shares of a non-US company that trades in the US financial markets. Foreign Currency Convertible Debentures or FCCB A type of convertible bond issued in a currency different from the company's domestic currency. In other words, the money being raised by the issuing company is in the form of a foreign currency. Difference between GDRs and ADRs Both ADRs and GDRs are depository receipts and claim the ownership of shares of a company. The only difference is the location of the markets they are traded in. 
global depository receipts can be traded in any stock exchange other than the stock exchange of the United States of America. American depository receipt is permitted for sale only in the stock exchange of the United States of America. To summarize, in line with the trend of globalization, more and more firms are expanding their businesses in countries other than their own countries. This is not just export and import business. Operations like these can be handled without the need for international finance. Multinational firms today spread their manufacturing operations in multiple countries. For these, they need to raise funds in many different countries. Even companies that operate in their home countries are now tapping equity and investment from investors in other countries.